Today we're going up the Mount Kong Gondola. <gasps> Gondola Taipei Zoo's main station and that's at the bottom of the hill before we go up to the Malcolm Gondola station. It looks like it's not too busy today which is really good. I thought you could use the iPass to get through because essentially the iPass and the easy card are interchangeable for pretty much everything else in Taiwan but in this case you can only use the easy pass to get through. If you have an easy pass, you get 20% off if you go on the Mount Kong Gondola on weekday. So we don't get the discount and we just have to buy it. You can buy the ticket directly at the window right before you get on, which is good because otherwise we would have had to wait in. The long queue that we decided not to go to has crystal floor cabins. That's basically a glass bottom cabin. It's good for Instagram photos. It is, but it's, I believe, only every three or four cars. So you'll have to wait quite a bit longer to get on one of those. The Malcolm Gondola doesn't open on Monday. It doesn't run on Monday, except for the first Monday of every month. So make sure you check if you're planning to go during the weekday, whether you can go. Famous for growing tea, and specifically, they grow a lot of tea guan yin. There's a lot of shops that sell here. We're just gonna keep walking up. The sign said that there was a tea promotion center, so let's head there. We are here at the tea promotion center at the top of the Mount Kong. It takes a little bit of walking to get here, about one and a half kilometers from the main Mount Kong gondola station. It does have a little bit of information, a couple of exhibits to look at. There's also a garden area. The gardens weren't open because it seems like they were doing cleaning or maintenance on it. But otherwise, it's actually quite peaceful to walk around. And there is a bit of the history and the process of the tea in this area, so that's quite nice. There's free flow tea guanyin tea in the tea promotion center, which is really cool. It's really hot as well. I feel like tea guanyin is a very, very mild tea. There's not too much fragrance to it. There's like a slight herbal flavor, but other than that, it's quite mild. Which is a pig one, and they gave us a green tea cookie on top. Icy. No, it's not a very good ice cream. Doughy. Um, this one looks different. It's from the neighboring store. It looks so much creamier. Mm. It's a lot smoother, but it has ice crystals in it. You can taste the tea bitter, I think. It is. It does taste less like tea, but you can taste the tea strong, more strongly. And it's probably because there's more fat to dissolve the flavor. It's a cocoa biscuit. It's a lot thinner. Oh, well, the texture is better. Yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like the cone loses out in this one. The wafer cone is definitely better. For the quality of the ice cream and the cookie, this one is a lot better. So the Taipei Zoo station is down here. That's where we took the Malcolm Gondola up the green line. And then there's a ton of things to do there. You can see there's a lot of walking trails and the spots where there are plates and chopsticks or teapots. That's where you can eat or get some tea. All the dots here are walking trails. So you can actually go and take hikes. Unfortunately, most of the things are closed today. And I think it's because there's not many tourists and it's a weekday. Just be warned that there's a lot of walking because it is quite a distance between each one, even though the map looks quite small. Otherwise, if you're looking for some good tea, some fresh air, a bit of peace and quiet, 
and some quite nice views of the main city. Nice. You can take the bus instead of the gondola. But we're gonna try see if we can take the bus down. We're not really sure on the information, but we're just gonna have a go and get back to you on that. You can also take the taxi. It claims to be 75 per person between paying 120 for one ride on the gondola per person or waiting for the bus. This is one of the more convenient options. That's the bus station which has all the information. However, you don't take it from that bus stop. You have to come to this one. It's very full. There are already people on it even before it arrived. So make sure you line up. Otherwise, I don't know whether you can get a ride. per person to get down. The issue is of course you don't get the views and the experience of going on the gondola. So it's really give or take what you want. So with all those options, I hope you enjoy your trip up Malcong Gondola and you know all of the possible routes to get back down again. Anyway, there are plenty of things to do up on the mountain. Most of it is walking, so be prepared. Have a lot of energy when you go up. As per usual, all the information that we outlined in this video, we will put it in our article which will be linked in the description below. As to where we are now, follow us on Instagram at twinspeakeatgo.